Hey, I'm FreeFox and today I will show you in this tutorial how to edit the texture of Zig the Goat VRChat avatar in Substance Painter. Forgive me for any weird background noises, we have a parrot and he's very talkative and it's very hard to make him silenced. When you open the SPP file for the first time you should see something like this weird thing. I made it this way so it would be more easy to color things behind certain parts like painting the part of the of the ear that is less visible from certain points. On the left you will see the avatar in 3D and on the right side you see the texture. Up here on the right uh, you find the different materials and of even of different objects on the scene. The materials in this case are earring, hoodie, tail and the Zig's main texture itself. So let's select Zig and take a look at this, ma this material's layers. On the bottom there is the base layer. Please don't edit this layer as it mainly serves to keep the credit plane texture. Next, above that, you can find a folder with the def default uh, textures that you can see in the trailer, trailer video for Zig and on the public version of this avatar. These are the brown, the pinto and the white. You can, uh, you can edit these freely as you like. You can also uh, hide or delete this folder. Next is the recolor folder. This is probably what you will be looking for. Um, more or less on the top of this folder, you will find a layer called empty color. This is a white and gray shaded texture for the goat that you can edit freely. It looks like this. So under this texture, you will find many layers with different colors. And above this layer, you will find a separate layer for, for the eye here. So this may look very confusing and I'm sorry about that, but I will try to make everything easy to understand. So if you scroll down, you will find the first color layer, or well, it's called fill layer, and it's, it's called body. This is exactly what it sounds like, the color of the body. Next to this, you can see a little number one. Let's click on that. Now under the layer, you will find the geometry mask. These are basically separate meshes. There is a separate mesh for the main body, chest fluff, credit, air fluff, ears, eyes, blah, 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 many things. Now only the body is selected, but if I select all of this and I, then I go out of this mode, and well, I have to also turn off all of this so I can show. Now you can see that the entire body is brown. Now, if I change the color, it will apply on every part of the body. Let's make it nice blue. Now let's go back to the geometry mask and let's select, for example, um, body and ears. So I deselect everything else. Boom. Then you go out of it by doing this. And now it's only this ear and the body. Meanwhile there are these fluff things that are white because because of the the base under it that these are the colors that it shows now. I will now go back and turn it back to body only. And now you probably understood that I made separate uh, fill layers for each mask to make it easier for you to recolor. Now let's get back to the empty color layer. This layer is in multiply mode. That makes it look like it's uh, like a shading over the colors. There are two of it in case you would want the shading to look darker. Here is without the second layer. Over all this there is an overlay color layer this serves to add a bit of extra shade to the colors. This one is in overlay mode and if you change its color it will have different effects on the layer on layers under it. Play around with this to make your avatar's colors stronger or just lighter or even darker. To 
let have this one the main color of the body like this and like start from that now above that there are the eyes and the eye light layers changing the eye layer color you will change the eye color of course you can also use the eye light to have it lighter darker or stronger color most likely you will want to add markings to your avatar and i will explain how to do that you can simply add the new layer by pressing the brush icon i would recommend to put it above all the color layers but make sure that it's under the empty color one layer choose a color edit the brush and you can begin adding the markings here you can use the knowledge of geometry mask that i mentioned earlier to make your work easier select the little square here deselect any layer you would not want to draw on and then go back and now you can draw as much as you want the layers that are not selected they will not be affected not even the mouth inside well now zig looks like a morton if you need to draw on a masked mesh you can just create a new layer again and in its geometry mask select the meshes you would like to paint on this time i kind of like this <laughs> now there is one more folder above everything and that is called recolor flat this is a simple folder it just has multiple fill layers with different colors for each part of the body but there is no shading this can be ideal if you would like to make a new texture from scratch for your avatar and if you don't want to use poyomi shader in unity now for editing the accessories you can just simply select their materials up here in this case the hoodie and here you will also find a recolor folder this one is much more simple than the zig material itself here you will find a color like this that you can change freely to anything then there is again an empty that is just shading you can turn this off if you don't need and then a light that just again gives a bit of extra colors into it there's otherwise the default with with text on it and default with no text on it you can edit them as you like there's also the earring that is the simplest it's just one color it's just silver in this case you can turn on the gold you can change it to any other color this is very simple you will probably want to know how to edit the tail as well since the tail has alpha in it this one is a bit more complicated to change because unity doesn't really seem to like to work with pngs with alpha if you put uh, a texture in unity with just P they're just a png with alpha you will see like weird white lines just like here that is actually even uglier if you look at it from far away so in order to have nice alpha appear in unity you will have to make a, a photoshop file in a pretty specific way that i will quickly explain so you will have to open up zigtail recolor photoshop file and you will need to import an action into photoshop in order to make this work this action is called alpha uh, utility uh, you will you will be able to download it from unity docs i will leave a link in the description so in the middle of this thing you will find four layers these two are like the each tail this is the top and this one this tail two this is the bottom to change their colors you have to just simply select this uh, who has saturation layer and simply changing the color 
with this you can change the color here is the saturation like how bright of the color itself and then lightness if you would want both of the tail parts to have the same color you can simply just delete one of them and copy the one of the other one that you would want to have the same and put it in clipping mask so if you <clears throat> so if you are satisfied with the colors that you have given to the tail parts we will need to do just a few steps to make this work in unity you will have to merge together all of these layers that is the tail one, uh, two tail one and the whole saturations all into one layer you can name this anything and now you can delete this if you now that after you merge the tail you have to copy this layer go to layer matting the fringe leave everything as it is and press ok now if you have imported the action now you can just select dialet or for utility dialet if you don't see the action button you can find it here windows actions so you press the dialet and you press the play button do it two times maybe that should be enough and now just merge together all the new copy layers that you just created and there it is and you can leave it to have whatever name and now we go to the background layer rename this the name doesn't really matter and we select the main color of the tail this approximately green here about it seems to be and you color it with, you fill it with that one color in in case you would have two different colors for each tail part then there's just one more step you should do select the mirky tool and create a little rectangle selection under the different colored tail part and now choose the main color of the tail and fill in that little square with that color you can press ctrl d to deselect everything and voila we are done you can also delete these things this just serves to help you so now in, uh, you will just simply have to save this uh, psd file somewhere with any name you like anywhere you like just remember where you saved it and with what name you will have to import that psd file into unity and you can put it as a texture on the material of the tail just like you would do with any uh, texture so this is the end of this tutorial i hope you find it helpful and makes everything a little bit more clear on how to recolor zig if you have any questions feel free to send me an email or ask a question in the freefox discord server that you can find a link to it in the description thank you for using my avatar bye